my son just started walking and it is one of the coolest things to see him go from this newborn infant into someone who is looking around and smiling and laughing to being able to like play with toys a little bit and then he could roll around and he could start to move and start to crawl a little bit and now he's finally starting to take his first steps and it's so so cool to see him do it but what what's interesting about watching him and the process that he's been through is that every hurdle or everything that he's had to like start doing, especially walking and taking those steps, is that the first step is extremely scary. He popped up right away and it's really easy to like hold on to a chair or, um, you know, kind of stand next to me and, and kind of look around. But the moment he's on his own and he's just, he's there, that first step was so hard for him to take. And the moment he took it, he started to realize that like, oh, he can take more steps. And, and from that point, walking was something he learned very, very quickly. But taking that first step was the hardest thing for him because it took a lot of courage and he was he's a very cautious little kid and he's very uh, timid or a, a little bit scared of, of new things. And so him taking that first step was a really big thing. He was very, very scared and he could, he could walk, you know, if you were like holding his hands or he has a little push thing that he can, he can push around. But taking the first step on his own was, it was almost so scary for him that it paralyzed him into not being able to do it. And if you don't ever take the first step, you never learn to walk. And I think that metaphor is very applicable to real life and what we go through every single day. Anything new is always scary. Any change is frightening. And it takes so much courage, commitment, uh, resolve to take the first step with whatever it is you're doing. And if you just do that first step, what comes after it is so much easier and it happens so much quicker than you might think. But it see it feels like a lot to take that first step. When I first started to do this YouTube stuff seriously, like I had the YouTube channel for a while and I would just post random, you know, camera tests, but like to actually do it, to actually commit to doing something weekly or, or you know, at one point I was considering doing stuff daily and it's just like, what commitment can I actually um, uh, adhere to? The hardest part was just doing it because it's really easy to have so many ideas or like, you know, see people on YouTube doing YouTube content and you're like, oh, I could do that. I want to do that. But like then to actually go and do it yourself. Okay. You, you think of all the things well, I got to buy a camera and thankfully I had a camera and all the, the gear. So for me, it was a little bit easier, but for a lot of people, they're like, I got to buy all this stuff. Um, I got to come up with a format. I got to have a name. I got to have a style and like, and all that stuff to like compete and like that that's like end of the end of the road stuff because everyone you see like myself included on youtube like we didn't it didn't start this way like what you see didn't start this way look at any big channel on youtube and what they're doing now is not what they did at the beginning but when you that's what you see you feel like to start it feels like such a big step that you need to like have this like whole brand and like all this stuff or like you want to start a company or you want to start a new hobby, a new skill, something, you see what people are doing in that space, but you're seeing the, the the end of the road. Like you're seeing into the future, potentially your future. But if you feel like you have to start with that big of a commitment, you're it's almost overwhelming. It's almost paralyzing and keeping you from actually getting there one day. So what I would recommend is just take the first step. It could like my son's first step was the tiniest, littlest step, okay? it's This isn't like a, a full-grown human adult step where he's just like running across the room, taking big strides. No, it was the tiniest, littlest baby step. But it was a step that got him to take another step, to take another step, to take another step, to where now he's able to actually walk across a room. And you know what? One day he's gonna be running and one day he's gonna be jumping and doing all sorts of crazy stuff. But it starts with that little, little step. So don't feel like you have to take a big step you know, right at the beginning, it, it feels like a big step, but do whatever's reasonable, what, whatever is going to get you moving in that direction. Just take that first step. Don't be afraid uh, to where you're paralyzed and you're not making any progress because then you're never going to get to where you want to go. Take that first step, no matter how small, like l look at some of the first videos on my YouTube channel and then compare them to where they are now. And then check back in a couple years and compare to where they are in the future. I don't know what they're going to look like, but they're not going to be like this. They're going to be different because that's those are the steps. It's always making new steps, changing, 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 uh, moving, mixing things up and growing and getting better. But if you look at my old stuff, the first stuff I did, it's like 
the the worst YouTube content. That's not the worst YouTube content, but it's like it's not it's not good. But it was enough to get me started, and that's what it took to actually get me to like want to do more and take bigger steps and do different things. But you're never. It's never going to happen for you, and it doesn't have to be a YouTube channel. It could be anything, anything involved, any change, any destination, goal, you, place you want to go. Take the first step. Make it a small step. Don't feel like it has to be huge. But take that first step so you can actually get to where you want to go.